Hello and welcome to Fort of All Golf. My name is Dave and I make golf videos out of Perth in Western Australia and sometimes further afield. Today I'm off the white tees, my home course, Sun City Country Club. What will I score? Driver off of these shorter tee boxes. That is not the play. I was actually aiming for a little bit of a fade there. Double cross myself and uh, a pull that the bunker has saved me in. Uh, about 110 to the flag, something like that. The lip's not really a problem. I think I've got a nine iron, get it a touch heavy, but otherwise a good strike, but it comes up a tiny bit short. Now I've been doing a lot of work on short game recently and my coach will be screaming at me about the fact that I've got a wedge in my hand here. And with good reason, because that has pitched past the flag and is not great, but I will learn from that mistake, leaving myself a 90 degree turn on this putt here didn't have quite enough pace on it. Comes up a little bit short, but it is a tap in for a bogey. And I do get a shot on this hole, so not the end of the world. So on these white tees, this par four is now only about 260 meters. So what would you do? Driver or layup? I obviously am going for the driver because this is YouTube. And uh, while I'm trying to put a score together here, also I want it to be entertaining and there's not much more entertainment than a wicked slice like this. It's actually so bad it's not even made the bunker, so it's gone about 200 meters that one. Second shot, off of sand, over sand, to greens that have a little dressing of sand, and uh, all of that conspires to not really being very easy to hold, so that actually trickles over the back. It was in one of those sprinkler heads actually, so I've taken a drop, a really crap drop actually. Um, could have dropped that a lot better, but Taking the putter, learning from the first hole, cozied that one up quite nicely, and that is a tap in for a par. No shot on this one, so still level with my handicap at this point. Uh, short par three, this one, because uh, the normal tee box, even for the whites, is under construction. So 115, but there's a little shelf just in front of where the flag is actually positioned. Scared me a little bit, I tried to go left of it, didn't hit it hard enough left myself off the green, um, that's pretty bad. 115 meters and I'm 20 short. Uh, tough, big breaking part. I thought about chipping it, but it's so firm down there and I really did make the best decision there. I've now got a tap in for, yep, for par um, after moving that flag stick, which is completely within the rules. And again, no shot, still on handicap. Uh, par five, but only 420 meters, so uh, an opportunity um, it's fair to say. Not the easiest fairway to hit, still hitting driver, and it hit a pretty good one there. Everything kicks right on this one, so as long as it stays clear of that tree that it's going straight at, everything will be fine. And this time it did, you were expecting it there. Hybrid, going for the green. Um, the only danger really here is right, so of course you hit it right. I was actually praying for it to go into the bunker. It didn't, it went past the bunker and left me this horrid little uh, chip shot. That's all downhill. Just had to land it on the fringe, which I did quite well, and then watch this run. Even with that top dressing on the green, still rolling and rolling and rolling. It's quite severely downhill. Anyway, I've got a, a six, seven footer, and this one is for birdie. As I say, it was a short par four, but I have taken advantage of it. And a birdie on the card, and that puts me back to level par. Very happy with that. And uh, yes, uh, probably ahead of my handicap now. Par five, uh, sorry, par four, hole five. I've got driver in my hand. I, uh, I debated it and I never really committed to it. It's another slicer -oo. And uh, that has put me over in Jumanji here. And um, yeah, not looking great. I've got a pitching wedge in my hand. It's not that far to the green, but I just had to make sure I got that up. I got a little bit over the top and pulled it. And uh, I've now left myself in a bunker. Um, I do get a shot on this one, so it's not the end of the world. And if I could sneak an up and down, it would be great. Hit a fairly good bunker shot. I was hoping it would roll out a little bit more than it did. But uh, I've got, I don't know, 20 feet, something like that here for par. Hit a good part. It was rolling in over in. I thought it was real good. Just shaves the hole there of Paris Hilton. And um, leaves me a little knee knocker on the way back, which just goes in the left edge. Bogey, as I do get a shot, so still on handicap at this point. 
Um, hole six, par four, longish one, but obviously a bit shorter off of these tees. Just trying to get to the corner, really. So I've got hybrid, and uh, look, it's fady, borderline slicey, but it's on the fairway. Um, so it's not a bad shot whatsoever. Um, this is stroke index two, um, as I mentioned. So it's, I get a shot, but I've got a good opportunity here. There's actually a guy that was just farting around on the green, chipping and stuff like that, who then called me up. So I was a little bit distracted by that, but not a real excuse. Sliced it into the bunker. Um, uphill all the way here can be quite aggressive and wasn't really aggressive enough with that one, but it's okay, I've got an uphill putt. So I know it's for par, it's gonna move a little bit right to left as I'm looking at it. And I hit the ground before I actually make contact with the ball. So not ideal, looks very weak. It is a tap in for a bogey and uh, do get a shot, still no danger. And uh, yeah, ahead of handicap at this point. Par four, around the corner to the left, got three wood and uh, there was a little bit of wind off of the right. There wasn't a lot, but a little bit, and I probably picked a very aggressive line there. A little bit pulley. It's just caught the top of that tree and pretty much dropped straight down. Uh, otherwise, it would have been very good. Uh, second shot here from, well, well, it's nine iron, I think I've got in my hand, maybe eight, and just cut across the thing. I was a bit worried about that tree and it actually pitched on the green but has run down here, so not ideal. The guy had actually let me play through, so I was in a little bit of a rush, just silly silliness. I should have just said, stay there, do whatever you want. I was in no hurry either. Anyway, uh, putt for par, pretty weak effort, worst part of the day, and walk away with a bogey. Uh, but there was a shot on that hole. Uh, Final par three of the nine, 150 even off of these tees, pin up in the middle. So um, kind of where that pin is, it's up on a little bit of a plateau. So going at it is a bit dangerous. So pretty much just said middle of the green and with that little fade that I've been hitting all day, that was good. Um, I had a, a fairly long putt, 25, 30 feet up the hill and then it starts banking there. Left it in a good spot and was able to tap that one in for par. So still going well. Um, three over at this stage, uh, par five uh, and shorter off of these for sure. Um, probably best driver of the day. And uh, yeah, could finally got one away. It's always away when you're playing the last hole. Um, left me just on the fairway, uh, but about 270, 280 meters away from the flag. Hit in three wood, probably needed to be a bit more aggressive with the line on that one. And uh, that actually hit a tree and bounced backwards. I got very, very lucky with that. Uh, Shortish pitch, 55, 60 meters, something like that onto the green. I got it a touch heavy. I was trying to trap the ball like I've been watching those pros do and I'm not quite there yet. This one comes up a tiny little bit short, but um, it's definitely putting it from here into the sun. But you can see actually through that top dressing, you know, where that snakes its way up towards next to the hole. And overall, tap that in for a three over par 39. Very happy with that. If you did enjoy the video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment below. And I will see you again next time.